Screen printing and photographic image is what I've always loved. I used to take my own photographs of George Michael and Bob Dylan and Bruce Springsteen, Diana Ross, and now I use images of these people taken by other photographers. These days, with everything being digital, it's a really old-fashioned process. Screen printing was used for signs and, and you know, adverts, and Andy Warhol obviously took it to the next the next level and made it, you know, everyday art in a sense. So we've, we've continued that legacy. I always had this trajectory towards America and the American dream. Growing up where I did, there wasn't a lot to aspire to, but with my dad, I would watch all these American films. So I, I fell in love with America through, through the movies and the stories of these, you know, these icons, these superstars. The exhibition is 20 to 25 protagonists from Elvis and Marilyn to Muhammad Ali. And it's this interwoven story of an American timeline starting maybe 50 years ago, but most of it sort of occurs within that 60s or 70s period. That's really the, the golden age of America to me. Colour is everything, and every painting I do informs the next painting. But when you hang three or four colours or six colours next to each other, they all sort of bounce off each other, and you know there, there's a language between all the paintings that in intertwines. So within the series is this beautiful screen print of Jackie O, and then I've got this incredibly aspirational picture of JFK, but then Marilyn is within the story as well. So already there's this beautiful thread between the three of them. As the colours have a story and one informs the next, so do the protagonists. I experimented several years ago with text paintings and you have Muhammad Ali. That's about as cool and brilliant and powerful and political as you can get. And then to put some of his poetry, layer it within the painting, the words are giving a weight to it. There's a great juxtaposition you can play there. You can make it very poignant. I just adore the Diamond Dust. My master printer, I, I, I told him, you know, this is maybe 15 years ago, I said, I need there to be some more depth, some tactile, some almost sculptural nature to this. And he has Warhol's old press and some of the inks, and we had a bag of Warhol's Diamond Dust. So the first Diamond Dust we, we put on was, was a bag of Warhol's. I find the diamond dust to be the final sort of beautiful veil over these incredible people and these incredible images. To me, it's a, an aspiration. It's, in a sense, what I wanted to be growing up. I wanted to be American.